Hello, my name is Kitty and I am a behavior analyst. I work at the special school district of St. Louis and I am responsible for providing intensive learning programs for students with special needs. In this course, we have a chance to learn more about social justice. Ableism is the topic that I'm interested in because I work with students with disabilities all days and ableism is something that I can relate to. Students in my class may have medical conditions, development delays, psychiatric conditions, or behavior issues. Most of the time, people label my students as poor, unworthy, and need more resources compared to typical students. But I want to emphasize that special education students are also part of the school. If special education students can get enough support, accommodation, or modifications, they can be successful too. The dissertation topic of my group is related to special education students and college transitions. And we research on this topic. We found that there are a lot of injustice have been happened in the college transitions process. For example, if a special needs student wants to get support from college, he needs to prove that he has a disability that is eligible to receive the help he needs. The document he needs includes a di di diagnosis of current disability, the day of the diagnosis, and how the diagnosis was reached, the credentials of the professionals, and how the disability affects a major life activities, and how the disability affects academic performance. For many students, a new evaluation is necessary to establish the existence of a disability for higher education purposes. Students and their parents will be required to pay for a new evaluation for this purpose because the IDEA only provides free and appropriate education from K to 12. To get the eligibility is not an easy process. However, even special education students are eligible to receive accommodations in learning. The accommodations they can get is limited or even not helpful to them. Under IDEA, schools must provide free and appropriate education to K-12 to students by law. However, post-secondary institutions are not required by law to do that. College are not required to accommodate special needs students in a way that unreasonably alter a program's fundamental requirements. And the definition of unreasonable, unreasonably alters is debatable. Besides, most college and universities fund themselves through a mix of state and local support, tuition, donations, government or cooperate grants, the state and local fundings are sometimes inconsistent and insufficient. That is why college have the pressure to focus on creating knowledge that has an economic benefit because that is how they make profits. And that is also the reason why college are not eager to provide accommodations because they do not have an abundant resources for that. The good thing is our society is evolving and become better and better. Education policies of the United States changed over the past several years. Not too many years ago, only a small amount of people could receive educations. Nowadays, the government provides free education from K to 12. One of my classmates at graduate school told me that 40 years ago, students with special needs would learn in a restricted education setting. And now we encourage integrated classroom settings. Having students with special needs admitted to the college was hard to imagine in 50 years ago. With the help of advocates, parents, the policy makers, it is more common to have a special education students go to college now. It is time to level the field, make college more accessible 
and make the college transition process easier for students who have special needs, for students who have special needs. And I want to quote George Bernard Shaw, what he said to end my presentations. Progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. In this cause, it changed, I mean, this cause changed my mind and inspired me to take the first step to participate in the changing process of education policies. And I hope that the effort we make will be valuable to the field of special educations. Thank you.